In French, English, and German, it read, In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, was burnt at the stake on an island in the Seine. Hey, you with the ball. We. Oui? What do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier? Ah, the last Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, was burnt on an island in the Seine in 1314. Wow. You're pretty well educated for a juggler. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. How did you learn to be a juggler? Juggler? What is this juggler? It's you. You juggle, that makes you a juggler. No, I am a jongleur. A jongleur? What's that? Mon Dieu. A jongleur is an artist. A master of the contragravitic aerobaletic mysteries. In centuries past, the courts of the crown heads of Europe and the jongleurs, witty erudite men to whom the monarchs turned in their hours of need. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Our enemies are at the borders, plague ravages the land, and the peasants are revolting. Thank God we've got Chuckles the Jongler to throw his balls around. I don't think so. That juggling doesn't look so difficult. Oh, it does not, does it not? Perhaps you feel you could do better. No, I'll give it a try. Be my guest. I had no idea what I was doing. But this guy was obviously an idiot, so how difficult could it be? A lot more difficult than I thought. That's how difficult. Still, it was my big chance to be derided by complete strangers. Not so easy after all, is it? No, I guess not. Have you seen this man before? No. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Excuse me, officer. And how may I help you? What do you think of the juggler? Ah, he is excellent, most watchable. But he's blocking the thoroughfare and obstructing traffic. So? He is amusing. The traffic isn't. If he wants to block it, who am I to say no? You're a cop. Ah, we. Oui. So I am. Ah, well. So you're not going to do anything about this guy? Uh, no. He probably doesn't even have a license. Ah, a license. This I had not considered. So what are you going to do? The instant I return to the station, I shall check. Return to the station? Why not just ask him? And spoil his concentration. What kind of a barbarian do you take me for? What do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier. Only that they were excommunicated in 1312 and hanged in their dozens within this very square. Boy, what they teach in the police academy these days. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. Shouldn't you be off directing traffic or something? You have seen the Parisian traffic, no? Yeah, so? I could direct the traffic. The most dangerous, the east side of Rome. Or I can sit here and enjoy the sun, the architecture, and the Soso Sauvignon. Which would you choose? Yeah, but I'm not a policeman. What happened to duty? An excellent question, monsieur. Have you seen this man before? No. Who is it? I believe him to be an international assassin. Oh. Is that all you can say? Oh. 
I did wonder if I should say that I believe you to be an international paranoiac, but it didn't seem polite. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Ah, you are a clown. Do I look like a clown? No, although you juggle like one. Now, if I'd known you were a clown, it would have been amusing and not a humiliation for you. What do you mean? Who ever heard of a plain clothes clown? He had a point. So you're saying that if I juggle badly with a red nose, I'd be the king of comedy. But if I juggle badly without it... You look like a pathetic loon. We, oui, monsieur, you have it. I'll see you around. We, oui, monsieur, I'll be there. Hi again. Oui? What is it this time? I'd like to have another try at juggling, please. You have gone on a crash course, perhaps? No. I just had an insight into presentation. Huh? Allow me to demonstrate. The balls, please. If you insist on completing your humiliation, monsieur. Okay, now for my secret weapon. The juggler was speechless with rage. You could have mistaken him for a mime. And without a word, he collected his balls and left in a fury. Hey, you forgot one of your balls. Hey. But he didn't hear. Better still, deprived of his entertainment, the gendarme decided maybe he ought to do some policing for a change. A weird little boat lay tied up. I guess they used it to get maintenance crews around. Either that or the Phantom of the Opera was somewhere near. There were three arches, each with an inscription. The wall had flaked and anything once written on it had long since gone. Hey, that's hollow. It was time for some brutal destruction. Close up, I could see the plaster was thinner where I'd broken through, and behind it were some cogs and a lever. Here goes. Hey, cool. The hook was held rigidly by the tightly wound chain.
In the beginning was the end. An end wrought by our enemies began our darkness. In the end will be a beginning. An end to our enemies heralds our new day. What part? The military establishments are in flux. The end of the Cold War has left them with no clear goal and as obvious targets for budgetary cuts. We have successfully promoted a sense of betrayal in the upper echelons. They feel that the politicians have cast them adrift. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Good. Mademoiselle? Governments are giving the corporations more respect than their own citizens. A groundswell of dissatisfaction and dissidence is growing. The corporations are becoming too large and complex for their own executives to control them. A blind belief in market forces is accelerating this trend the world over. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. The global population's belief in those that govern it has never been lower. We have inculcated a sense of immediacy and action over forethought and planning in all the major government. They are acting on hasty decisions that cannot be completed or revoked without appearing foolish. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Excellent. The tired old governments are dying a slow death from their own incompetence and our machinations. The millennium is almost upon us and everything is in place for the rise of our new order. Almost. Professor, where is the broken sword? Oh. As we discussed last time, with the loss of the manuscript, our search is as a corollary hindered. And as discussed last time, you have been furnished with a dramatically increased budget. What have you been doing with our money, Professor? We are working on the principle that the Templars... <clears throat> that is to say, our predecessors... Hold on. These are the Templars? Must have left a trail when they were hiding the clues to the sort of Baphomet's location. I have a small army of historians and archaeologists ferreting out that trail. I trust these historians and archaeologists are more trustworthy than your friend Pegram. Pegram was loyal. He tried to protect the Lokmarn gem when the Hashashin came near and failed. And don't call that Syrian maniac the Hashashin. He's an assassin. Plain and simple. That's not what he believes. He actually thinks. Silence! Do I have to remind you that we have a sacred duty? A trust. When Philippe attempted to destroy the Order, we lost the sword and our power with it. Now we have the opportunity to reforge it. But time is short. We need results. Not petty bickering. Not excuses. Now, Professor Baphomet. Yes, of course, my apologies. We will find Baphomet and the sword manuscript or no. We have already found another element, actually within Paris. Excellent. What is it? Well, we're not exactly sure at present. Ha! But I have my best people working on it. You would do well not to criticize others, Eklund. At least I have not murdered one of our own. Of course. That guy was the bogus doctor in the hospital. Marquet was a liability. Eklund dealt with him on my orders. I beg your pardon, Grandmaster. I did not mean to. 
Have you any good news for us, Professor? We already know three of the elements. We know that Klaus Nord had obtained the lens before he vanished. Where was he? Syria. We know that he arrived, but after that, nothing. The assassin. I fear so. It's a shame. Klausner was a good operative. There was a crack in the wall. Through it, I could see a glimmer of natural light. This will be our last meeting in person until we locate the Sword of Baphomet. I hope that I don't need to emphasize the importance of finding it. Without it, our endeavors come to nothing. With the sword reforged, we will have the power to sweep the stage of all opposition. The new millennium will belong to us. The next time that we meet, it will be to become the princes of this world! In the middle of the circle was a stump of stone, a shaft of daylight from the world above lancing down to touch it. The light, falling from above, struck the gem and scattered in five neat rays, and each ray picked out a letter. Starting from the seal, I could read M-A-R-I-B, Marib. Now all I had to do was figure out what the heck that meant. Nico, I've seen them. Who? The Templars. I spied on their meeting in the catacombs. And you saw the Knight Templar? I saw a bunch of guys masquerading as Templars. They're after something called the Sword of Baphomet. The bogus doctor was there, the guy who killed Marquet. The manuscript is the key, just as we thought. It shows the way to the broken sword, whatever that is. And how does the assassin fit into all these? He's out to stop them. These Neo-Templars, they're men and women in influential positions. Don't you see? Plantar was one of them. The assassin killed him for the manuscript to stop them finding the sword. But now we have got the manuscript. Yes. So how do they hope to find the sword? I don't know. They said something about a lens and a guy called Klausner who's gone to Syria, but they didn't seem to realize the significance of the very site of their meeting. You see, after they'd gone, I discovered a stone pedestal and a carved inscription. I set up the gem on the tripod, directly below a beam of light. The gem split the beam and lit the letters M-A-R-I-B. Marib is a village in Syria. Then the Neo-Templars are ahead of us. Klausner beat me to it. You're not thinking of going there yourself, are you? Why not? These guys are crazy and dangerous. That reminds me, you should leave the gem here. Okay. What about the tripod? I'll send it back to Andre. 
anonymously. Do you think I should go to Marib? Thierry is a long way, Georges. 